Hi, everyone. So today I'll be covering one example of something you can do with the Hugging Face library, and specifically that's uh, loading a transformer model in three different frameworks. So we're just going to click around their website. Um, so if we go into models, uh, you can see a number of different uh, models that they support. Uh, so you might recognize GPT-2, which is a generative text model. Uh, BERT, which can be trained to do a number of different language tasks. Uh, and there's also the T5 text-to-text -text model. So you may have seen some of these in news headlines. And they also support different data sets. And so if we click into their docs, uh, one of their main libraries that they're known for is the Transformers library. And so this is what we're going to be working with today. Um, so they offer support in PyTorch, TensorFlow, as well as JAX. And they make it pretty easy to load um, all different model architectures uh, with a few lines of code. And so for some of these, um, there's support across the different frameworks. Uh, and then some not for all. So today we're going to be going through the BERT model. Um, so if you go to their BERT page, they also provide some more background on uh, the model as well as a link to the original paper. And with that, we'll move over to the collab. Uh, and I'll also post a link to this as well. So given that I have about five minutes, I'm not going to be covering background on transformer models or the BERT model specifically, or the deep learning frameworks, but I've linked everything here for anybody who wants to dive in a bit more. So with that, let's get started. Um, so the model that we're going to be working with today is the BERT masked language model. So this model, you can pass it uh, a sentence like this in autumn the blank fall from the trees, and then it'll fill in or predict this masked token. So let's run that here. Um, and then the framework that I'll be starting with is PyTorch. And I believe Hugging Face is primarily developed for PyTorch, um, but also extended to the others as well. So let's run this. So um, in addition to supporting models, they also have um, tokenizer support which is used for processing the input in order to have something you can put into a model. So just like that, the model was loaded. Um, and then we made predictions given our sentence up here. And so you see here, the prediction for the mass token is leaves. And so if we dive into this a little bit more, you'll see that the inputs here, because we indicated return tensors equals PT, which stands for PyTorch, uh, it outputs a PyTorch tensor, right? Um, and then we can also convert you know, these token IDs back to the sentence and you see how your sentence was tokenized. Um, and then I also just wanted to show uh, the output shape um, so currently we just have one example here. Uh, so our batch size is going to be one. Um, and then the output is going to be uh, logits for you know, um, each token in your length sequence length. And then the total vocabulary size that's included in this BERT tokenizer that we initialized is um, you know, over 30,000 different words. So now let's try the same thing in TensorFlow. So same thing, except using now TF, BERT for mass to LM, and then return tensors, TF. So now you should get this um, TensorFlow tensor. And then instead of using some of the PyTorch um, code, uh, here we use TensorFlow functions. And again, you get the same prediction, leaves. And then lastly, uh, JAX, um, or FLAX is more specifically the modeling that's built on top of JAX. So same thing. Um, and notice that each of these frameworks actually use or reuse the same tokenizer. And then we're loading this FLAX 
expert for MAST LM, return tensors JAX. All right, and then you see that the type here for inputs this time is a device array. Um, so that's JAX specific. And then once more, um, using functions that actually look very similar to NumPy, we can then extract the prediction, which is once again, leaves. And that's the cool tools. All right, so uh, here's the top 20. Wow. Leaves, flowers, branches. <laughs> 